The Acura Integra that you've been waiting for is here for a night video and today we're going to take a look at these exterior lights, the interior ambient lighting and get it out on the road for a test drive. Let's get started. Thank y'all so much for tuning in for another night review. Be sure to check out the full daytime review coming soon after this video. But first of all, this is the Integra A-Spec with the technology package and let's take a look at these exterior lights. So it's going to be fully loaded, but every Integra here for 2023 is going to get these LED daytime running lights. It's those signature lights and those signature jeweled LED headlights, high and low beam. You can see those individual lights. This looks really nice and distinctive. The fog lights here are LED and those are just on the A-Spec model, so not the base model. Be sure to keep that in mind. They actually help quite a bit with the visibility. And then LED blinker here right above the daytime running light. I like how those are separate and look how big this daytime running light is. I mean, this looks exactly like that TLX that I just showed you last year. The paint color on this Integra is the liquid carbon and you'll see the blinker in the mirror. That's only with the tech package, the base and just regular A-Spec don't get that. But what do you think of the profile, the side view of this new Integra? Definitely has that new Acura look. And at the rear end, I start to really like this. I like the LED taillights. You've got an LED blinker, the same signature LED taillight design. And when we back up and we look at this, especially with the lift back, I like the way this looks. Amber colored turn signal, LED license plate lights as well. And let's look at the brake and reverse lights. Now this is a lift back here, so it is not just your typical trunk. Pop this open and look at that, nice and bright, just like it should be in a luxury car. Two LED lights, that's fantastic. And I just wanna give you a look at this paint right here. It's got some metallic to it. This liquid carbon paint is a premium paint as well. If you want welcome lights, well guess what? You got them. If you get the tech package, you get the illuminated door handles, the interior entry illumination, so that's always nice smart key system and then we've got this red micro suede interior this looks pretty killer you got the black inserts in here things look really nice let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the interior all right now let's go ahead and look at the rest of the interior we have the six speed manual available otherwise it's a cvt believe it or not push button start right there look at these gauges let's take a look at these nice looking gauges right here in a second over on the door, you see this accent lighting. I'll talk about what trims get that in a little bit. The little door handle lights, even your memory settings are illuminated. All of your mirror controls, everything over here gets a place and a light. So that is good to see. The steering wheel lights in here have a nice little white backlighting to them, not too bright not too aggressive and then this display up here this is all digital and this is standard on here as well it's not like fully customizable with you know different types of views necessarily but you can change the information that you see over there and if you scroll enough you can get to where you adjust your head-up display and you can adjust the brightness on here as well and when you adjust the brightness on this little display it adjusts brightness on everything else to an extent too even that display as well as the lights around the buttons so that's how you do that you have to do everything through the steering wheel if you change the drive mode you're going to get different colors in here as well like comfort normal and sport then right in front of us we get a pretty small little head-up display but it does give you good information on there still just fyi all the light controls are on this stock including your fog lights here too then coming over, a seven inch screen will be standard, but we have a nine inch screen thanks to our tech package. And this is the A-Spec with tech package right here. We've got wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto with the tech package. I like how you still have a couple of physical buttons here, but I mean, this looks just like the Civic. It's just a little tablet style on here. You know, I mean, this is the same platform, so it's kind of what you'd expect, but I love how this is wireless. Go back to Acura's system right here. Everything is familiar with this in Honda. If you're used to that, you can have shortcuts aligned on the bottom. In fact, I have the display brightness down here to where you can quickly adjust this display as well on its own, separate from the rest. Otherwise, if you head on over to vehicle settings here, this is where I'll just talk about the lights. Go to lighting setup, and then you can see the things you can adjust. Like you can turn your auto high beam off or on. You can also do that just simply by turning the dial to 
headlights or away from auto or you can flick the high beams if they're on and it'll turn them off. So you can still do manual control if you want to, otherwise you can adjust things on here. Then coming down from there, we've got illumination around the rings of our uh, audio or climate controls here, excuse me. Even our little heated seat button right there. I like the way these look. The, the different uh, little rings are nice. You even have a little ambient lighting on this wireless charging mat, some backlit USB ports, both A and type C. I believe that USB C is only with the tech package though. Moving back a little bit, our drive mode button, auto stop start right there, brake hold and parking brake. And you might be able to tell there's just a little bit of a glow right here. There's an ambient glow standard on every trim. As far as I can tell, coming from right up here. So these little lights, these two little LED lights give you a nice little ambient glow. The accent lighting on the door, the ambient lighting on the door, I believe is just on the upper trim. So Acura says there's some ambient LED lighting standard in here. I don't know if they're talking about a little bit of lighting down at the foot wells, cause there is just a tiny bit, or if they're talking about those lights right there, but you gotta move up to the tech package to get these door accent lights. Just to give you a better look of what we got going on, I turned the lights on overhead. They're super bright, no lighting in here, but obviously, you know, maybe don't expect that in this entry level Acura. And then the glove box, there's a little bit of lighting in there and it's soft opening. An automatic dimming rear view mirror right there as well. And then we've got LED lighting up here. It is super bright. You've got individual buttons for them and they have their own lights. I like how you can quickly and easily determine whether or not the lights turn on when the door opens or not just by flipping that switch all right let's take a look at how the headlights do so i always line up on this hill you can see on the right side those red posts are easily illuminated there's a little bit of light reaching the hill on the left side but you can see the beam patterns are wide enough to cover the spread of this whole parking lot. I think these look pretty good. These are the low beams. There's no IIHS ratings for these headlights. Let's take a look at the high beams. Lights up that hill really well. No complaints at all with that. I think these are gonna do really well. Let's get them out on the road. All right, y'all, we are behind the wheel of this new Integra. And in this video, the main mission is to give you an idea of what it's like to drive this car at night, to see how good these headlights are, the automatic high beams, things like that. If you want more on driving impressions, be sure to check out the daytime review. This one is pretty much just about lighting. I'll touch a little bit on it, but basically got the Civic SI power plant here. We've got the six speed manual, 200 horsepower. It's very fun to drive. It's torquey. You've got automatic rev matching on here. If you don't have the manual, you'll have a CVT. Kind of weird, but that's the way they went. It's on the Civics platform, so I guess I understand. But first of all, I'm, I'm definitely impressed with these headlights. They're very bright. They've got a nice beam pattern. And even with overhead lights right there, the high beams turned on. So we'll see how they do. I really don't think I've ever been disappointed with Acura headlights, but I think I also get blinded the most with them too, or, or flashed, I should say. So something to keep in mind. We'll see how it goes today. Let me turn the high beams off. Nice and bright on that right side. Good beam pattern right there for the most part. Head up display is nice and clear without being too big and annoying. I kind of like how it's just a nice little small one. All right, I turn the automatic high beams on again and they turn back on. So real quick, before we get on a dark road, we got automatic dimming rear view mirror, no automatic dimming side mirrors. So something to keep in mind if that's something you are looking for. I like the ambiance in here. I do like the white backlighting, but if you're looking for a blue or a reddish backlighting, you don't have a choice. I love how easily you can adjust the brightness, uh, but let me know what you think. No colored, really cool ambient lighting like the TLX review that I showed you. So be sure to check that out. All right, so we just hit some oncoming traffic. The high beams just shut off. So that's always good. They are very quick and responsive to shutting off when people are coming. We'll see if they turn back on, even with a stoplight coming. And they did, boom, turn back on right away. And let's get on a darker road. Okay, as we come over the hill, automatic high beams are on. They just shut off with that car coming. 
So we got low beams, see how it is as we flatten out here. Even a Civic right there. Nice and bright into that corner, high beams on. Now I got the low beams on my own. There's no adaptive function, so keep that in mind. But the left side oncoming traffic lane is definitely a lot more dim around the corner. But as we straighten out, just the low beams here, this is looking pretty good. Nice and bright, I got good distance there. Let me flick these back on, automatic high beams. Good and bright up ahead. Now I can't tell the distance necessarily, but they look good to me. I love how bright it is right in front of us. It's a really nice wide beam pattern on the low beams too, out to the side. Going around that corner, looked great. Let me do the low beams again, see how that looks. This car handles really well, by the way, y'all. Just feels nice out here. Okay, just the low beams. Let's see how far we can get out. See what they look like. The distance, not the best on this oncoming side for sure, but I can still see pretty good on my lane. High beams back on, very bright, very nice. As long as you got these high beams, you're good to go. In town, the low beams have been good. Um, and the width is good, which I like. Fog lights, I got them off now. Turned on, off, on. You can hardly even tell a darn. Oh, because I had the high beams on. Fog lights off, on, off, on. The beam pattern is definitely still pretty wide. We'll get her in a second. Okay, just the low beams right here. And they've got pretty good width. I have the fog lights on, fog lights off, fog lights on. They're definitely close next to the vehicle, but there's no cornering light or anything. If you keep your fog lights on, you'll have a little bit of cornering access there. Something to keep in mind. Okay, now I'm where I like to take these little corners where you can kind of tell what you get with uh with the cornering amount of light to the side some vehicles it's like you got light in front of you and none none out to the side this one i can actually see pretty good over there so when you're starting to go around like a corner in town or real dark corners i can see pretty darn good i mean i can see really good off into that one too where i don't even need to even think about it i can see it great so close cornering excellent let me know what you think of the interior lighting in here i think it looks really nice everything is simple but at this price point i think that this is still good a nice offering and the headlights do a good job let me know what you think check out the full daytime review as well coming out after this if you want to see something cooler be sure to check out that tlx or mdx review but have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time